Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, well, uh, we knew Aaron wanted Lomachenko on uh, Mayweather vs. Pacquiao undercard. Now it's looking pretty official, you know, uh, and we know who he's going to be fighting. You know, it's going to be, uh, well, WBO featherweight world champion Lomachenko is going to be facing uh, Gammy Rodriguez, you know, who is his WBO mandatory. You know, uh, Gammy got a record of 25-2. and two. Uh, Gammy Rodriguez, you know, a big thing they're talking about in all the articles and stuff is they're like, hey, Rodriguez is just beating 17 opponents in a row, you know, 17-fight win streak. You keep seeing that everywhere. I mean, which it sounds good, right? But uh, if you look a little deeper, uh, you'll see that, you know, 14 of those 17 wins – were against the oh my completely terrible oppositions you know like the term tomato can would actually be like a nice term to use for most of his opponents i mean i'm talking guys like uh an 0 and 24 you know 2 and 23 I saw one in 16, and these are recent fights, you know. Uh, oh, nine, one and two. That was like seven fights ago or something. Uh, his last like five, I think it was. The I mean, they stepped up a little bit, but th still nothing impressive, you know. Nothing that would make you think for a second that he even has a puncher's chance. Honestly, like it's it's a total mismatch. Uh, you know, mo most of Rodriguez's fights were in his backyard of uh, Puerto Rico or either PR or over uh, uh, in the Dominican Republic. So, you know, his his last two, though, were in Florida, and that, it, that that's when he fought his uh, two best opponents. You know, he won them both. Uh, one by second round TKO, which was his last fight. Uh, I like kind of like a nondescript opponent. No, no one... To, you know, write home about, I guess. Uh, and two fights ago is when he fought and beat his best opponent to date, which is Orlando Cruz. All right. And he beat Cruz by a 10 round unanimous decision. You know, not, Cruz is a decent guy, you know, a tough man. I mean, he, Cruz has been in there with, uh, you know, like Ponce de Leon, uh, Orlando Salido. Um, he's in there with a couple other good guys too, but he's never won any of those fights either. You know, he, he just, he can't get over that hump. All right. Now, if he can't get over that hump, there's, you know, and, you know, Gammy beat him too. Uh, he, you know, he's not a world beater by any means and neither is Gammy. Uh, it's, you know, like I said, it's a total, total mismatch, uh, showcase fight, you know, bullshit uh but it is a mandatory so i get it but at the same time it's like come on man i know aram can get uh somebody else ordered by the the, the wbo is a mandatory i mean it's just you know politics it can happen but you know we knew all along that this undercard was gonna be weak you know uh very weak because uh, just look at it i mean people would buy People would pay a hundred dollars for this card, uh, just for Manny and Floyd. I mean, with no undercard at all. And like you can say, no, you wouldn't, but they're maybe you wouldn't, but they're still gonna hit three million buys no matter what the undercard is looking like. Um, you know, I was hoping, you know, the powers that be would bless us with, you know, some some good fights on the undercard, even if there's two, you know, because we're only getting one Mayweather promotions and one top rank. Uh, <clears throat> you know, this is apparently the top rank one, and it's being said that Jay Leon Love is going to be the, the Mayweather promotions fight. And I'm sure also on their side, they're just going to put on a showcase fight for uh, Jay Leon Love because this is just going to get, you know, those guys just massive exposure. And that's all it's really looking for. Uh, if they match Jay Leon Love tough, he could get, you know, sparked again, like Sparky sparked him. Uh, but 
Loma, I think they should have matched Loma tough. Yeah, I understand they want to, like, you know, just showcase him, get him exposure, make him look like a beast. But Loma is able to handle himself with anybody. So they could have matched him tough because I he's going to run right through gaming, run right through him. Uh, and, yeah, he'll look like a beast because he takes this guy out in two, three rounds or whatever. But, you know, the, the thing about Loma is his skill. And you're not going to get to see that much of it on display because he's going to just rip to this guy's body, not get hit, and probably just knock the guy out early. You know, uh, but if they would have put him in tough, someone that could at least go, you know, some rounds with him, uh, that's how you bring out the best in Loma. You know, if you want to showcase Lomachenko, um, you put him in tough, you know, because uh, the better his opponent is, the better he's going to look, you know, because he'll have to do more things, use more tricks, uh, show more skills, you know. So I would have thought that they would have put him in a little more tougher because it's not like they would really have anything to worry about. Uh, but it all comes down to a couple different things. They're spending so much money on Manny and Floyd that they don't have much money left over for the undercard and they don't have to spend money on the undercard because people are going to buy the fight anyway. I know it sucks. It sucks for boxing fans, but it's just the way it is. You know, um, I'm disappointed. You know, don't get me wrong. Uh, I wouldn't never justify it, but, you know, I, I've, I guess I'm not shocked. That's for sure, because I knew that they weren't going to put money into the undercard. You know, we were hearing, like, people, just, these just fans saying, you know, throw in some bad blood fights like a, a Ortiz and a Rios or, you know, something like that, or a, a Bradley and a Rios, uh, you know, just like some good fight fights. And they could have, you know, but they'd have to put a lot of money out for those kind of events, like those kind of fighters. So they'll probably pay, you know, love, maybe a mil, maybe 500 grand, something like that. They're not going to pay him much. They'll give Loma, though. They will give Loma a decent chunk uh, just because, you know, he's he gets paid a lot by a top rank. But, um, you know, it's, I, I like – Loma's one of my favorite fighters in the world, period. So I like seeing him, you know, on these Pacquiao undercards and shit and getting this uh, big-time exposure. Uh, for the simple fact that when, you know, Pacquiao and Floyd leave, uh, Loma will be in, you know, that position to kind of uh, suck up some of their fans. You know, he'll have exposure. People will know who he is. Uh, so, you know, I I'm glad for Loma that way. But as a boxing fan, I just wish he was matched tougher. But... You know, at least we'll get to see Loma whoop some ass on May 2nd, too. And, you know, he'll stay busy. He'll get a stay busy fight, at least. Um, I guess, you know, that's that's just what it is. We're just going to have to deal with it. And we're not really paying for the undercard anyway. We're paying for Manny and Floyd. So, let's just... <sighs> we're just going to have to deal with it. And, you know, hope Manny and Floyd put on the show that is worth a hundred and dollars. All right. Thunderdome boxing talk. Stay safe till next time. Peace.